I counted away days last year. Weeks and months unused, unnoticed, a patronising, ambling fear of not wanting to grow or to change. The foil of milk bottle lids pressed in the only documentation of these days, the hours when the jitters took a hold of me, bundled in sheets of a bed I could not bring myself to leave. Waking up was the biggest achievement of the last belittling year, a battle which frequently I cannot ironically muster the energy for. The panicked realisation of having dreams that I cannot chase by closing my eyes is as uncomfortable as a bright light early in the morning. As the days got darker and the seconds got longer, I got caught up in nights without stars and dreams, only corridors of nightmares, and the fear faltered and changed from patronising to intimidating, until I was left in a romanticised stardust of soaking pillows and creaking bones. This year made me realise, amongst allowing myself to change, that loss is the greatest giver of things wondrously strange. It made me realise that waking up is so worth it. So worth the struggle of sticky eyelids and dry throats. So worth the struggle of closing doors and falling to the ground, beaten and battling. I will wake up in the new year and the bright light won't be anyone's but mine.